so what this is, it's a, it's a web-based learning platform. So you can do a, a lot with this. You can create assignments. You can really direct students to the content that you want them to see. Okay. It, it includes all of our apps. So uh, Human Anatomy Atlas is very comprehensive. It's going to contain pretty much everything the students need to know about human anatomy, more than okay. likely more than they will for the course, but it's a great resource for them to have. What's nice too is that it's a web-based platform, so students get two years of web access, and you'll see here that they each get a copy of each app for a mobile device, and they keep this forever. So when they're out in the field or in you know, future courses, they still have visible body with them. Oh, okay, so, this a, so it's a one-time purchase and, they, and then they own it, it's not a subscription. The mobile apps they own, so that okay. is not the subscription, but the web part is a subscription, so that will eventually expire in two years. You said, you said two they years, own, right? Yes. So they would have it yeah. for their, uh, so like they would take this and then, okay, that's really interesting. And then what's different from the web app versus the online platform? So the web apps, are the content that you pull from to create assignments. Okay. They're really the, kind of the same thing. So this is, okay. just think of the My Web Apps as the full content. And so, you know, students could actually come to this section or you could come to this page, this My Apps page, and launch one of these, a launch okay. muscle premium. And you can use these just as a regular app. I mean, except that it's, it's launching through a web browser and you need Wi-Fi, but you get the complete app. So you okay. could use it that way where you just, you know, go straight to the web app and then, you know, when, as that's loading, this is the cool part. What you can do is create a course. Oh, there we go. You can put your school logo in it. And this is, this is the assignment path. So you can create tailored lesson plans containing any content you want from the app. So you really can direct students into particular 3D views. So for example, if you're doing a unit on the shoulder, for example, and you know, especially for those PTA students, we have a whole content area of shoulder pathologies. You okay. can direct them straight, although those aren't with the shoulder, that's wrong. <laughs> you can direct right. them straight to the shoulder pathologies, which are right here. And so this, this would be their quote-unquote assignment. Can you, can you click on like, through. click on one of those rotator cuff tear? Sure. So it's, because I had opened up um, Muscle Premium, so there we go, it's going to direct the students directly to this 3D model that they can learn about. There's information here, and they, I'm just clicking and dragging with my mouse. Yeah. You can zoom in. You can click on any of the structures. And so when they click on, like, like one of those ligaments, like the tendon there, that will, like, that will, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah it's right here. Can now, can, can you, I, can I, oh, go ahead. Sorry. No, 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 you go ahead. No, no, go ahead. It's fine. I was just going to say really quickly that these, the related content, these are educational video series. So these are guided walkthroughs of, you know, this one is shoulder anatomy and function. So that's normal anatomy and function. Because when you said ligament, it made me think of this because it's okay. very detailed and it has a professional in the field, either a physical therapist or a chiropractor or another professional in the field walking through this anatomy for students and explaining where these structures are, what they do. I can, I can play this for you in a little bit, but those are, those are really uh, valuable because it just gives students more context. They can definitely work hands-on with the model, but then they can go to the related content and, and have a guided lecture about how the structures fit into the shoulder. Sure. Okay, neat. Um, you can also fade muscles here. Uh, in the pathologies, there there is some nice functionality with you know just learning about the structures and rotating and fading. When you're in a normal view, you you get even more content. So I'll just walk through this quickly. You'll see that it it describes different elements of the pathology, and then finally it'll end with normal anatomy. 
it's, it's now can I a, can I embed yeah. your um, your platform in um, any LMS like Blackboard like as a, as a module or is it have to it's a separate login? Yes. Yeah, so right now this product is a separate login. Okay. We are working right. on a Blackboard integration. So okay. actually, if you're interested, if you use Blackboard pretty thoroughly and you know what you'd want. I yeah. can um, I can actually connect you with our product team because she's doing a lot of research right now, talking to professors, finding out what they want. So if that's something you're interested in, you don't have to tell me right now. Just send me an email and I'll. Yeah, no, I can you. tell you. Yeah, it's uh, if we decide to go for yeah, that would be. And this this is um, um, yeah, no, I would that would be something I'd be interested in. Kind of if we go forward okay. with this, I would I would want to play around with Blackboard integration and kind of work with you guys because I'm kind of a Blackboard. That expert, but I use it pretty, pretty involved, pretty thoroughly. So that that would be super helpful to us as well. So thank you. I will pass along your name to my colleague. Her name is Lori, Lori Levins, and so she'll probably reach out to you by by email. Okay. Uh, so that I just wanted to let you know that we are working on a deep integration with Blackboard that will have single sign-on and grade sync to the Blackboard gradebook with this courseware product. Yeah, um, I, it should be ready. I hate to throw out dates, but I think it will be ready by next fall. Okay. But right now, if you wanted to use this, you could just put a direct link in the Blackboard that will link the students out. And you actually can, um, you know, once the students are logged in, you can link directly to a specific quiz. You know, if you were okay. to quiz the students. And so there is a way to, it's just not the deep linking that we will have. Yeah. Yeah, because I used a platform. I used an I used another system before with for an intro to kinesiology class, and I I did not like the bouncing back and forth. And but this seems simple enough for for like a additional learning resources without. But if you saying that the quizzes can link back, then that's um, that's cool. That's good. So. Yes. Yeah. yeah, and I'll find out more. Okay. About that. Um, okay, so let's go back to the assignment path. It's really easy to create assignments. You can pull from any of the content. I'm just going to show you this, and then I'm going to dive into Muscle Premium and show you a little bit more of the content. But you've got all of these 3D views here. Uh, you can assign all of them or just a few, whatever you want. You hit continue, and then you name your assignment, you publish it, and you're done. So everything is done in about three steps. We have a full quiz bank. So you can quiz your students and assign homework on uh, we have both multiple choice and dissection quizzes, and I'll show okay. you that. So these filters just allow you to filter down to exactly the quizzes you want to view. So I'm going to filter down to visible body of my author, dissection. Uh, we'll go to the muscular system, and then I can go even further. It's, uh, abdominal muscles. And so if you click the words on the left, you can preview the whole quiz on the right, and I'm going to show you what that quiz looks like. So these dissection quizzes have students working with the 3D model to identify structures, and then they basically finish the quiz, submit it, and it's auto-graded, so you don't have to grade this yourself. But they're quizzed on, you know, where these structures are located in the body. So this just takes a few seconds to load. I can take the quiz. Um, just so you know, so if I want to move this model down without rotating it, because if you click and drag, okay. it rotates it. Yeah. Um, hold the space bar down while okay. you click and drag. Sometimes people get <laughs> frustrated with that, and I understand because it's not oops, it's not intuitive. I zoomed in a little too, too much there. So the students have to select a muscle. Uh, you'll notice that there are fade and hide tools on the left. So if they are asked to identify a structure that's underneath where they have to peel some layers away, they are able to do that. So these okay. quizzes do get a little bit more challenging asking students to do that. Which we'll see um, that was my question earlier. Can you remove, can you dig in and so that's exactly right. So you can fade and that's, that's great. Yes. Yes. I'll show you that. So I can, I can hide that and just keep going layer by layer. So I've got fade and hide tools here. And then I'll show you in Atlas, you can actually use this tool called our dissect tool, which allows you to just quickly peel the layers away without two clicks. It does it in one click. 
but yeah, you can do that. Fade and just keep going layer by layer. Does that make sense? Do you yeah, get the general well. idea yeah. of a uh, dissection quiz? Okay. Wonderful. Any questions so far? No, that's pretty good. Okay. Excellent. So I'm back in Muscle Premium. So the key content area, so obviously you can see there is there are normal anatomy views here. This whole app really focuses on the musculoskeletal system. So you have more muscular views in Muscle Premium where you can direct your students to study. Okay. And I'll show you, uh, for example, like the, the painted bone. So if I click that icon over there, I get the painted bone to see where all the attachments are. Um, anytime I click a muscle and then I click that pin, you can see the attachment oh, point. Nice. That's perfect, that's great. And again, this works, you know, I'm on a computer in the web version, but it's the same exact functionality on mobile. The only okay. difference is that the students, they have to take their quizzes online. So the mobile apps are really just for self-study okay. and learning, okay. but it works great. I mean, the content's exactly the same. They're gonna have the same functionality in terms of, you know, what I'm showing you right now. And, they, and when they purchase this, they have it indefinitely, the, uh, the app. When they, yep, when they, they have them definitely. Okay. Yep. Okay. Because part of the strategy for your own. one of the strategies for this, this functional anatomy class is it's actually going to be a pre anatomy class because we're at a community college and most of our students are pre PT and um, we have them take their anatomy at their four year institution. So where the val where I'm where I'm seeing the value in this is that it's something that they would be able to use as a study aid in their future A and P class, something that they're already kind of familiar with. Um, that they can that they, they've used to use in this particular class and it's something that would go on with them to their uh, four-year institution that's neat yes absolutely so at the four-year school are you saying that they would then take the, the two semester sure. AMP course correct they would take their big because we, we offer that here but we we students that are that are pre-professional um, it enhances their credibility their candidacy if they take their anatomy at their four-year institution so um, that's um, we we have we have our two semester A and P class, which I'm actually going to reach out to see if they're if they're any 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 value or interested in this as well. But but yeah, your your what you how you assess it was right. Um, students that are going to take this class, it's meant to be a precursor to their A and P to help increase their success in that class. So if they've already been familiar with these models and working through, and they're able to focus just on the musculoskeletal system. Um, and maybe a little bit of blood supply and, and, uh, and innervation, vascular, neurovascular, that's why I was kind of, can you, yeah, click on it. Uh, see, so okay. nice. Yeah, and it kind of starts the, starts them thinking and seeing that in a lower stress environment, and then when they take their, their one-year anatomy and phys at their four-year institution, they have already have a little familiarity with it. Um, they have had time to work with this. They're experts in this platform, and then they're able to use it as a study guide in their future course. So that, that's, that's kind of where my brain's going with this right now. Yes. Oh, that's, that's, that would be, that, that is exactly how we intend this to be used so that students become, you know, they're lifelong learners. And because A&P is such a difficult topic, <laughs> it's a difficult course, you yeah. know, it's um, these apps, because they do own them, they're, they can just keep referring back to them. You know, if they learn it once in AMP and then, you know, they don't remember it or they need to learn it before or after the course, they're just, they're great resources. Yeah. Um, now I see in the bottom there, I see like draw, annotate, download image. What, what is that? Um... Yeah, so you can draw on the image. So this would be a nice lecture tool. Right, that's what I'm looking for too, is so something I can pull up that I can, and that's why I said I want a centralized um, thing. I, it's great that they have an app themselves, but I want something I can use in the lecture or in the classroom that I can pull something up and and uh, have on the on the screen and and be able to like either draw or and then once I draw and annotate it, then I can download it or is a download more a static frame? Is it? You can save it as a favorite view, so you can definitely do that. You can draw and annotate, and then you would save it as a favorite. Actually, let me see. You might have to do that in the. Um, I will double check for you. You can definitely do it in Atlas, and I don't see. What's the I don't download, see the download option here? 
Yeah, so that will. Oh, so it does save a screenshot. It does save a screenshot, but it's, it's static. But there is a way to download and save your favorites. But it does Microsoft. save my annotations and my, my drawings on there. Yes, if you were to okay. just take a flat screenshot and you want to put that into a PowerPoint, absolutely, yes. Okay. And the students can do the same thing. In fact, and then I can. Me, uh, and then real quick, ahead, uh, oh, yeah. Are you kind of uh, there was a multi-select. I could select multiple structures, or I can have multiple images. That, like that bottom left-hand corner. Yes. So that allows you to, and I'm going to, that's why I'm opening up Atlas, because there's a little bit more functionality in terms of the multi-select. So what this allows you to do, and this may not be the most, the best example of a model, um, it allows you to select multiple structures at a time, and then okay. you could either fade them or, or remove them. Oh, I see, I see, I see, okay. Or but highlight. In the Atlas, yes, exactly, in the Atlas, and uh, once this loads, you can do that. Definitely, you can use multi-select and you can remove, or you can use the dissect tool to just quickly tap and and remove the structures. I'm going to close the quiz app here. And so, Muscle Premium and Muscle the Human the the Atlas are two different apps, is what you're. Yes. Yes. Okay. So the main difference between the two, Atlas covers all body systems, so it is more comprehensive, has more content. Muscle Premium focuses just on musculoskeletal anatomy, and it does contain, as you saw, circulatory and nervous system as okay. it relates to the muscular system. The two key content areas in Muscle Premium that do not exist in Atlas, number one are the 3D pathologies, so that's like the rotator cuff we were looking at. We yeah. have them for the multiple structures here. So this is unique to Muscle Premium and the educational video series, which, you know, I won't play the whole thing. It's four minutes and 15 seconds, but, oops. Today, I'll be talking about anatomy of the hip. The hip joint is made up of a ball and socket synovial joint formed between the femur and pelvis. So you get the idea, and I'll def yeah. I'll set you up with a trial as soon as we're finished with our call, so you can I absolutely uh, play around with these and look at all the content. But you can see she's going to walk through hip anatomy. Sure. Yeah. So those two things in muscle premium again, musculoskeletal system. So they'll it will have more normal muscular views. Um, but really, it's these 3D pathologies and the educational video series that that are unique to Muscle Premium. Now, uh, before you close there, go um, go sure. and see. Oh, what about actions right there, top top side? Oh, yeah. yeah. So these are these are the muscle actions which you saw in my email, and I had put it into augmented reality. These are there are a ton of them. So just I'll just scroll through, and you can let me know which one. Uh, any, any like fine time. rotation would be cool. Let's look at like right there where you're. This one right here. Yeah, sure. Okay, so these are also included in Atlas. And these, um, you can manipulate these models too. So you can rotate, zoom in, click on the structures to see what they are. So there's no like because the one thing I liked about our the the primal package that I had before is that it would show like as the muscles contracting it would highlight the concentric action and then the eccentric like you could see like red and green you kind of this is really cool still though but um, you call so it concentric not, and eccentric so as one muscle's contracting it kind of lights up a little bit like that's the one that's that that's the one that's shortening and you can kind of see the one that's relaxing and then as it kind of goes into its counter movement you kind of see it go back to that other um but it's fine it doesn't have it's it it doesn't have to be that way i just um suggestion for development that would be really cool that that's what i was asking it's not the first time that i've heard that so i will definitely pass that along to our because like if you click, like so you could like click on the the muscle on the left 
like it, as it's, it could even have like a shade of just showing that, hey, this is the one that's shortening and then you can have it like we can have options where, so when, you already have the ability to highlight it and click it. So to be able to have it highlight during the video, have an option that would be a really easy thing for your developers to do. It wouldn't be, um, the hardest thing is being able to select a, an animated, um, app. so you already have the hard part done of that being blue. Now just have that automatically like fade, like a more translucent color that is showing the contraction and real, the, the concentric eccentric actions. That sounds very interesting. So I will, I will absolutely pass that along right after our call. But just having it highlighted right now, you're able to see okay, here's the muscle that's shortening right now. It's going to be that. Now, are you able to? Oh, just the external bleak. Okay. Now, can you show joint actions with multiple muscles, or is it just uh, is this showing? Okay, a little bit. Okay, cool. Yeah, so you get whatever is in the model. And then you can always go back um, and see if there are any other muscle actions that Now, can you go and her. fade muscle? Like can you fade that that yeah, can you fade that? Oh, nice. Yes. Good. Perfect. Cool. Yes. Good. Great. Um, all right, so yeah, so it, does that all make sense in terms of what content is available? Okay, I just now, wanted to like, take you, oh, sorry, go ahead. Oh, well, now, like, if, you, if a student purchases the, like, do, you, do they purchase all the apps or like, because like all I would really be using the functional anatomy would be the muscle premium. I don't know if I would really get into the other, um, um, the other components, but like, yeah, how does that, um, like, do you buy the entire, the, the entire visible anatomy atlas, the, the program, or is it like, you just you just purchase the muscle premium or you just purchase or you, it, it's all or nothing yeah so we do have you know we do have a, a blackboard integration of our previous version of muscle premium so you could actually do that it's just it's one version behind this one so okay. it won't contain the educational video series okay and you would just get muscle premium and I so think what it, it also includes atlas too so what would that mean? I would purchase I would purchase it and I would be able to use it as a educational tool or something the students would purchase and subscribe to for the um Yes, the students would subscribe. So the, okay. the price difference though, it's it's thirty nine ninety nine for the muscle premium blackboard cartridge. And again, okay. that's thirty nine ninety nine per student, or it's forty nine ninety nine for courseware and they they get they just get a lot more value with it. Okay, so you're saying more functionality. Yeah. So what we were what we were talking about for this whole thing, for the whole pack, for all these things, the animations and the thing, for forty nine ninety nine, they get that for the two years, and then they get the they get the app indefinitely. Yes. Oh my gosh, that's totally that's that's fine. I thought you were gonna say like one ninety nine or like this is. This oh is, no. <laughs> Well, I, honestly, I, I get I try to keep my my courses my I try to use as much op open educational resources as possible, and I try to keep my cost down for the students as much as possible. And I think I think if they're able to if they have the app like and I, what I don't like is when we have like online content and they only have it for six months after the semester or they don't, that bothers me. But the fact that they have this um, indefinitely these apps this this ability to study tools they're going to use in their future profession. That's a whole lot of value. So I'm I'm already sold. Like I'm done. Like we don't need to go further anymore. Like this is uh, this is good. Oh great, <laughs> wonderful. Yeah, that's really really good. Like like I said, uh, forty. Like you said, thirty nine. I was like, oh, that's a really good price. Is it forty nine dollars? And they have. And so just so we're clear, the student pays yep. forty nine ninety nine. They have the two years of the online access to whatever I create and the and the quizzes. But then they have. And definitely on their iPhone or iPad or Android, they have access to that version of that app forever. Yes. Okay. That great. is correct. Yeah, that's great. Wonderful. Yeah, that's great. Um, did you have want to see anything else before we we finish? And I I can set you uh, up with an account as soon as we're off the phone. Well, I do want to like. Like I think you showed me a lot of cool stuff. I do want to play around with stuff. I do want to like kind of dig in, but I it, the, the 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 premium muscle premium is exactly what I'm looking for. Um, but I think the value is is the students learn how to use muscle premium. They're also going to learn how to play around with the human anatomy atlas. And so I think for an extra ten dollars for them to uh, do that. And you said also the thirty nine ninety nine doesn't include the those little videos. Correct. And I that's think right. that's 
I think little four, four to six minute videos where students can kind of click on their own is perfect attention span, perfect little reinforcement. So I think it's worth it for that. Um, now the videos, that they, they lose that after two years. Those are also in the mobile app. Oh, so all right. Well, that's, they'll okay. have it in the mobile app. That's cool. That's really cool. Yeah, they are. Right. Those videos are really, they're great. Yeah, they're great. Um, that's 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 perfect. That's perfect. Yeah. So yeah, because I want to play around with it because this semester, this semester is when I'm I'm building the course for spring, and so uh, yeah, I would want to play around. But this, yeah, this. What what I had with Primal before was a, a skeleton with the muscles, and it, and it did. It just kind of showed uh, the as you were contracting into one position, you saw the muscle that was contracting, and then it would be green to show that it's contracting, and then red to show that it was relaxing. That was that was neat. I think it was helpful, but um, it wasn't as detailed uh, or as interactive as as this app is. And since I can click on it and they can kind of see it. I could create the little like screenshot video type thing, or at least bring it up in class and, and use it as a discussion aid. And um, that is, that's fine. That's good. Excellent. Well, we, we love to hear that kind of feedback. And I'll be very curious to hear what you think when you have more time to play with it on your own. And, um, you know, I, if you want to pass along any names of the A&P instructors or feel free to pass my info on to them. Oh, yeah. um, that would be great because this is a, a wonderful A and P resource and affordable, um, and we offer you know complete training and support. So we'll you know help no, you out with you guys are you guys are you guys are priced you guys are priced perfectly. Like you um, yeah you just you're priced perfectly. I think it's a it's a reasonable cost. I could I could reasonably not even use a textbook and have and still use open educational resources of like. For static stuff, and then have them go through the like what I was thinking. What how I'm going to use it is I'm going to have them do a lot of the static anatomy, um, uh, like a flipped classroom. They're going to do that on their own. There'll be requirements for the static dissection. Here's where this muscle's at. This is the attachment site. Here's the supply. And then our lectures in class are going to be more practical application of how is this how is this inter interacted with squatting, right? And and the exercises we actually do that so it can be more live stuff. And you could, they can get any anatomy textbook to study passive structure, but from a functional perspective, this shows everything it needs, and I could keep it a quasi-open educational, and it's still that because basically they're paying for a study tool that they're going to use in the future at their at their at their secondary institution. So this makes total sense. Excellent. Well, thank you so much. I'm glad to hear that.